Either follows. So check this out, I've got me this lovely car, and I suggest we blow it to smithereens. Inflating a tire to 900 PSI, what will happen? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. So the most hazardous part of any car is supposedly the fuel tank, and I mean, we've seen plenty of footage of what happens when it catches fire, how they explode, but our own experiments have shown that said footage might not necessarily be telling us the truth. If you haven't seen that video, check it out and subscribe, of course. As for the second most hazardous component, well, that would be the wheels. They're filled with compressed air, they sometimes blow to shreds, sometimes even damaging or ripping off body parts. Holy shit. Typically, that sort of thing happens to commercial vehicles. We've witnessed that a bunch of times. As for passenger cars, well... I'd love to see what had happened. We've already got a system prepared. That'll allow for popping the wheel by means of beating at excess pressure. And we made it using regular old parts for a car. As for what exactly generates a lot of pressure in a car, some of you would say the AC compressor does, which is true. It does create a bunch of pressure. But what about the power steering pump? It's known to generate enormous pressure as well, right? Indeed it does, and so we fitted one. It wasn't there before, but now it is. And so now we're going to hook it up and see what sort of pressure it's capable of generating. I should point out that we're not using it to pump air, but rather we'll be pumping liquid. And the simplest option for liquid that we could use is obviously water. We will add a bit of soap to it to prevent parts from seizing, and I expect the success rate to be the full 107%. For starters, I suggest we measure the pressure it is capable of generating. Okay, so we've connected some high-pressure lines, we've got a pressure gauge right here, also we've got a canister that's going to gravity feed the water into the system. And now let's see what sort of pressure this can generate. Fire it up. Sixty bar! And that's at idle! That should be more than enough. So now let's hook it up to a wheel and see what happens. Let's get to it! So it's supposed to start pumping, and we should see the pressure start to rise. The scariest part is not knowing when it'll happen. Now would be a good time to start protecting your eyes. I am so curious. Wait, is that it? The inner side is ruptured. Yeah, that would seem to be the case. What happened, though? Tire popped. I feel as if it simply unseated itself, no? Let's remove it and have a look. So the excess pressure has found a weak spot, the tire is ruptured, and the view from the inside was not impressive by any means. All we saw was water, a subtle pop, a stream of water that cleaned the wheel arch, which is quite nice. But we do have some compressed air, some hoses, wheels that are still fitted to the car, and the idea now would be to make the tire pop under pressure from the compressed air. Let's see what sort of damage the car sustains. Will it even? I say we try it out and see. Yeah, just ease into it, come on now. I can hear it hissing. That escalated quickly. No. 
Careful, watch your eyes. Oh my goodness, the wheel is bending. Not up, not down, instead to the side. Not much has happened aside from the car kicking up some dirt. That's because it shot air somewhere to the side. The air has found its way in this direction, and the car got lucky, as in it hasn't been damaged. Yeah, let's go! We've inflated it. I can hear it crackling. What does it take to get a wheel to expand this much? <laughs> Who's even going to be able to repair that tire? Somebody was very hasty to say that nothing will happen. No need to even unseat it. Yeah, that was just... Look at how it dislodged the tail light. Not bad. The shell is severely rusty. Oh, we got another wheel in the trunk, actually. I feel like we won't even get to... Yeah, so guys, you can plainly see what has happened. It's very evident. Oh, look, the other one has also popped out. Oh, holy cow. The bumper bar is displaced. You mean to say it was ripped off. And so there's the difference between air and water. When you compress air... That quite obviously reduces its volume, so it's going to compress, all while the pressure is going to increase. At some point it finds a weak spot. Okay, so the front wheel... It's off the ground. It's nice and round. I can hear it crackling. All that did was move the camera and slightly deform the fender. It didn't do any sort of horrible damage. Once again, the sidewall ruptured. And if it were to blow vertically, or towards the front bumper, it would have been taken clean off. 100%. But we're not done quite yet. We've still got this right here. This here bonus is going to be lying in the cabin of this here car. This is definitely the most dangerous stage of today's experiment, because even a regular tire blows up spectacularly. A high-quality one detonates with even more force, but we've hit the jackpot here. We've got a high-quality tire for a truck, and we're going out of our way to make this safe and to make sure nobody gets hit in the head. Also to prevent shards of glass from hitting anybody. This is going to pop hard.
<laughs> On the contrary. Oh, holy cow, was that it? So it ravaged one of the seats. Yeah, the seat back is toast. Also, it has displaced the dashboard. The seat has been thrashed. It sure has, and quite horribly. But look at how the roof got bent. Also, the windshield almost popped out. Look at all of them cracks. Oh, yeah, holy moly. It took out the plywood, amazing. But it didn't make much of a sound. As if it were silenced. By the car itself. That's what I'm saying. And we lost the glass on this side. Yeah, up front they popped out. Holy cow. Let's go! I don't even know how much I fit in there. The sound would lead you to believe it was the right amount. Also, this tire is of higher quality. We weren't able to pop it before. Is it actually that durable? That would seem to be the case. Incredible! Now that was one durable tire. It was far from new, but... Um... <laughs> is that bubblegum or what is that? Are you being serious? Yeah, looks like it smashed the glass. It's nice when the whole thing pops instead of it blowing in one direction. Now these hoops with how they slingshot can be really sketchy, I mean. Look at how it evacuated the cabin. Yeah, right. Good thing it didn't come flying out this way. It's especially dangerous when you're driving next to a truck and this pops. Well, that's why people use retainers, right? To prevent the hoop from popping off. Look at this, the air did all of this damage. Blew everything to smithereens. It all depends on what condition the tire is in. Yeah, the better the condition, the more pressure it can take, obviously. And the more danger it presents. Yup. So the air escaped through the rear window, and there was still enough force left to blow the trunk lid off. Well, this does contain quite some volume, I mean. It can't, well, you'd think it'd evacuate in one direction, but instead it just went all out and crushed everything that got in its way. Let's see what sort of damage the shrapnel has done. We were standing right around here, and these enormous bits, I mean, they flew even further than that. I see some glass. But one bit is still intact, and I'm referring to this lovely trunk lid. Yes, it is a bit deformed, but it's still in place. And look at what we've got inside. It's taking too long, that's a bad sign. That'd mean the detonation will be intense. Holy sh... The air pump! What 
Now that was just tremendous. Did the parcel shelf just pop off? I did tell you about the air. Holy cow. That was a lot of volume, and look at how the car was contorted. I mean, this is just air, it's all around us, which you cannot touch, you can't manipulate it. But when you compress it, it packs quite a wallop. It rips metal to pieces, everything is just sent flying in all directions. High pressure is not something to be joked around with. But we've decided to conduct another quick experiment. And this is going to be quick, so right here we have a 200-liter barrel filled with water. We're going to bury it, put a wheel into it, pour in some more water. And do the very same thing with the help of some compressed air. Here we go. Turn that off. Awesome. What's most interesting is that it was so quiet. But the explosion was still pretty intense, wasn't it? Right, guys, so that does it for this physics lesson. You would have learned that high pressure isn't to be taken lightly, be wary. And always make sure your tires are in good condition, to avoid these sorts of scenarios. And that's it for this video, catch you guys later.